Well, hey there! Well, time for favorites, duh! Um, it's been a minute since I did favorites video, of course, like a, a month or so. Um, so let's start with the makeup, yeah? Starting with the lip stuff. What's on my lips now? Um, every time I post a video with this lip combo or something similar, um, I've been asked what I'm wearing on my lips. So, um, the combo that I have on at the exact moment in time um, is Coffee Lip Liner from NYX. Um, this is a long time favorite and I think this is even the old, 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 major old packaging. Um, but this is just a very basic nude liner. One of my favorite, favorite nude liners ever in life. Um, very, very beautiful. And then, throw that over there. And then I paired it together with a Brave New Bronze from MAC. Not sure if I mentioned this lately, but it is probably one of my favorite nude lipsticks ever, especially from MAC. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is a perfect nude for a lot of you tan women out there. Um, if you're like NC42 like me, um, it's perfect. It's like the perfect warmth. Um, I also like Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy's amazing. Um, I like Velvet Teddy. Um, there's another one. Honey Love is a really good one. Um, half and Half. Those are all really great um, nudes from MAC. If you guys are looking for nudes for your skin tone, if you're like me. Um, it's really hard to find a nude if you're tan, let me tell you. Uh, my best recommendation would be to warm it up with a warmer lip liner, as you can see here. It just kind of adds some depth to the color and it doesn't look so flat and ghostly. And then I put... Um, Beige Craze, I think that's what this one is called. I don't know, Sephora lip glosses go by um, numbers. So this one is number 43. It's just like a pretty basic nude. And it's that color right there. You can also use White Russian. I used to use White Russian a lot. Um, <laughs> I used to white, use White Russian a lot from Buxom. It's probably one of my favorite, favorite nudes. Um, they're very close, but White Russian's a little lighter and has a little bit more pink to it. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's just like slightly, slightly lighter. And then, um, sometimes every now and then I will use either of these lip glasses. Um, Purr lately has been a, a favorite. This one was included in a haul, I think, that's either going to be featured soon or has already been posted. I'm not sure. Um, depends when I decide to post this video up. Um, this one is Purr. Purr? Yeah, that one right there. This one I really, really like. I actually, this is like an oldie but goodie. MAC has had this color forever, like forever. This one is like a really pretty pink nude with a shimmer. Yeah, that's what it is. So it adds a little bit of a luminescent to my lips, which I really like. And then when I'm doing like my bronzy looks that you guys have been seeing a lot lately, this is a lip gloss that I've been grabbing for. And this is Oh Baby, which is this beautiful bronzy gold right there. Love this color. Also an oldie but goodie. Adore, adore, adore. Love it. And then some other lip liners that I kind of pair with my nude um, lips, etc. etc. Sorry, from MAC, which is that baby right there. Really, really perfect nude for those of you who are looking for just like a blank nude for tan skin. And then I think, I think Lancome still has this one. I'm not sure, but I really like Lancome liners, actually. Um, I play with them a lot in the store, but we don't carry them anymore in our personal store, so I'm glad I still have some. Um, they actually come with an attachment to them, but mine doesn't have one. Um, this one is Bronzel, which is that one right there. Okay, if you hear rattling, that's Kilo. <laughs> if you don't know who Kilo is, you'll find out later in the video. <laughs> brows, brows, brows. Y'all know I'm into my brows. Um, today I kept it natural. Well, natural but bold still. <laughs> um, as you guys know, I love my Benefit Browsings, love that stuff, but I'm kind of entering out, kind of got a little bored. Um, I do still do the dip down brow when I have my face super banged out. Um, and I will do a video on that. I know. I promised you guys I will have one, so I will have one. Um, but lately, for some reason, this month, I've been loving this combination lately. And it's Anastasia's Brow Wiz Pencil in Brunette. Love it. And then, um, I just kind of outline with this one. And then, you saw this in my last tutorial, I think. Or it's coming up in my next tutorial. One of the two. <laughs> um, but yeah, I kind of like outline the bottom with brunette. And I do a little bit of the tail. And then I fill everything in with espresso from MAC. Sometimes I use um, Brun, B-R-U-N, that's how you spell it, Brun from MAC. It's a little bit more on the charcoal side, but most of the time I do espresso, just because I kind of like a more warmer, softer brow these days, like a softer but defined brow. And then I seal with the clear brow gel. You can relatively use any brow gel you want, but I don't know what it is about this Anastasia one, but it's so good. Um, I used to use the one from Maybelline, I think it's their Great Lash. Yeah, something like that. 
um, but it makes my brows really itchy. This one has a really nice brush that really gets through the brow hair, and it just leaves a really, really nice, like, polished look. Um, I don't have it on today, I just have my browsings on, but whenever I do this combo, oh, I swear, everyone at work will be like, what do you have on your brows? I want. I've fallen in love with my MAC 224 again. Hmm. Um, I have a million 217s. I love the 217 a lot, a lot. Um, once I had the 217 and I just bought multiples of them, I always grabbed the 217 more. And then sometimes I'll use my Sephora, I think it's a 27, number 27, which is a lot similar to the 217, but a little fluffier. Um, so I, I'll usually use these two for like my blending and like right in the crease, but I don't know what it is lately. I grabbed my 224 one day and fell right back in love. Um, and I'm remembering why I love this brush so much. So love my 224. Absolutely one of the best blending brushes out there, buddy. Love, love, love our new Sephora liners. Mine's already hella small. Um, they start out, let's see, they start out about this length. <laughs> and this is where I'm at now with the black one. Um, I use this all the time. It's on now. I love, love, love this one. You guys know, well, if you guys have been watching me for the past year, you guys know I fell in love with the um, waterproof coal pencil from Sephora, but we discontinued that and we replaced all of them and added a ton of new colors with these. And these are the 12-hour contour ones. This is just like the perfect black. It's like not too black. It's not too light. It glides on like a gel. It's super bright. Buttery, works for almost everyone I've recommended it to. Comes in a ton of different colors, but my personal favorite is the black. Absolutely adore this primer from Smashbox. I got this in gratis months and months and months ago when it first, first came out. I only used it on my clients, especially when I had a wedding, because it, like, works so, so good. Um, every time I use it at a wedding or every time I use it in store, um, I love, love this stuff. Like, I can guarantee you 90% of the time when I put it on someone, someone buys it. Um, it comes in like a little squeezy tube. It literally does make a difference underneath the eyes, um, especially if you're the kind of client that just doesn't wear eye cream. Um, I run into a ton of people that just do not mess with eye cream. I don't know what it is with y'all, but y'all need some eye cream in your life. This one is very hydrating, so for those of you who do use eye cream and you still find that your eyeliner either crepes or you're just really really dry under there or it just looks super cakey if you will um, this will totally totally smooth it out um, so on more mature clients like for those of you who are looking for some something for your kit um, this is really good for that I find that this works for like almost any person um, for my more mature clients um, it works really great at kind of diffusing the appearance of like fine lines and wrinkles like it kind of just plumps everything up um, and then it also hydrates a lot of my more mature clients are super dry under there And then I even have like younger clients who just don't mess with eye cream like I mentioned um, It just kind of smooths everything out. So it like really it's like a really good under eye prep um, It does make a huge difference in the longevity of my um, under eye concealer It allows me to wear almost any concealer I want pretty much so you know how like sometimes you want to wear a thicker one because you feel like it'll cover you more um, But you find that it just always cakes and it creases and it just looks like a hot mess pair that with this one like like my clients who like um, Makeup Forever's full cover oh love that stuff um, but it's cakey it's cakey as shit or um, the one that comes in a pot from MAC the studio finish something like that um, those are super creamy but they have great covers so some clients actually really do like using that underneath the eyes but they find that it just doesn't last but this ugh, this baby hands down amazing love this stuff I love the Laura Mercier Rod Johns primer um, I've never paid attention to this because I used to use the luminizing one from Smashbox, um, but it has a little bit more of a silicone-y slip to it. And then you guys do know that I love my Makeup Forever HD number no. 6. Um, I was also trying the Natural Radiance Primer from MAC. I was trying that one out. I kind of love it kind of down. It doesn't really do much for me. Um, I already have pretty nice, like, glowy skin, so I just need, like, a little oomph to it. I don't know if it's just, like, the color in it or whatever. Um, but the Laura Mercier one, I have it on today with the Mattifying Foundation, and it's, like, a really good combination. Um, so for me... Matte foundations aren't really my favorite. Um, I like that they help control oil and they're really great for summertime because they're sweat usually they're sweat proof or they can last through sweat. Um, but my problem is that it's too matte. Like I don't like that overly matte dry look. That's just not my thing. So when I pair it with this baby and I put this one underneath it and then it, it gives me this. Like it gives me more of a glow and I love it. The primer that I thought I would fall in love with that I'm not sure if I like or not <laughs> um, is the Radiance Enhancing Light Optimizing Primer with an SPF of 15. 15 from NARS. 
I really thought I would fall in love with this stuff. Um, it does work amazing. Like, it works amazing. But for some reason, it didn't do much for me. Um, it works amazing on a lot of my clients. I remember we were testing it out on um, an actual guy. And it literally kind of gave contours to the face. Like, it's really, really pretty. And we were like, oh my god, I'm going to love this stuff. Um, and during our training, I was like super, super excited for it. But when it came out and when we got a chance to try it... I'm not sure if I'm in love with it. I don't know. It looks really great on camera, so I would say it's really great for days when you go out. Um, if you're going to Vegas and you need like that perfect face, um, this is a really good one because it's really great in pictures. It's very camera friendly. Um, if you like to go out a lot and you're a club head, um, this would be great for that. But if for daily wear, it's just okay. I don't know. I thought it would be more. I don't know. I wanted more out of it. So this one's kind of a hype, kind of a gripe. I'm really not too sure how I feel about it. I really thought I would love it, but I don't know. I guess I just don't. Moving on to some skincare favorites. Um, you guys know that I live by my Clarins Double Serum. This is like the best thing in the world to me. Love this stuff. Love, 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 love. Um, but honestly, I'm like down to half a bottle. <laughs> and I was like, fuck, I really don't want to purchase this thing again. It's like $85 and I was like, ooh, breaking the bank. Um, but it's totally worth it in my personal opinion. But um, I get to try so many different things that I was like, okay, I'm sure I'll find something else that I love. Um, Ula Henriksen came out with a new oil. This is just a baby bottle. I have a big one too, but I started out with a small one because I want to see if I love it. Because if I don't end up liking it, then I might give the other one away. Um, <laughs> hi, miracle worker in a bottle. This stuff is amazing. Another reason why my skin is uber glowy today. Um, I barely have any foundation on today, like barely. And I was so, so, I like have the sheerest foundation on today but I swear I've literally only been using it for like a week <laughs> yeah about a week and it's so so nice like it's good enough to put in my favorites already I was gonna wait till next month but I swear I've seen like a dramatic difference in my skin like my scars have faded my pimple right here cleared up I was like holy Moses like super super impressed with this stuff um you can use it by itself or you can use it with the truth serum which again is another favorite of mine um so I switched up my serum. I love the combination of the Truth Serum and the Invigorating Gel. I think you guys may have seen this in a haul um, that it came in like a 500 point gift something or other. Combination of these two at night. Oh my god, I wake up and my skin is like a baby effing soft, super smooth, like legit retexturized. It's amazing. Um, so I do love the combination of these two together or just one or the other. I've always liked the Truth Serum. It's one of our best selling serums in the store. I absolutely adore this stuff. Um, I guess I just never wanted to open the bottle because <laughs> I was using my double serum and I love that stuff. Don't don't even get me wrong. However, if you're into brightening stuff like I am, you will absolutely love these too. So if you need a little bit of brightening in your life and you need your skin to be nice and supple and super, super smooth, it'll help fade acne scars. It'll help clear up your skin. Oh my God. Yeah. Like I find that I have less, less, <laughs> less, <laughs> I have less blemishes now. Um, and if I do break out, they clear up faster. Um, so within the past like two or three weeks, I've been using these three products. This one is like probably about a week old in my life. Um, but these two I've been using for the past two or three weeks. And this is random, but I've actually been really liking this purse. Um, it's like a kind of off, not off the shoulder. What do they call it? Shoulder type bag. You know what I'm saying? This one though, it was like literally like eight bucks. Um, I needed a small purse for work because I was getting sick of taking my big ass Michael Kors, but this is perfect. I love, love, love this purse. And it's cute. It's cute. I love it. I have also really been loving this baby. Sorry, this is really hard to hold. <gasps> it's super heavy now that all my watches are in it. Okay. Um, this is my watch jewelry box. I love it. So it has um, 10 up top and then 10 on the bottom. Ow! Yeah, this is really hard. And then 10 on the bottom, which I have like the three. I took, took a picture and put it on Instagram and everybody asked me where I got it. Um, it was a gift from my boyfriend, um, from the man. Um, the one missing watch right there is the one that's on my hand now. Oh, sorry, that made a hell of a lot of noise. Um, it's the one on my watch now, which is the Madison, no, not Madison, Parker. It's the Parker. Yeah, the Parker Glitz, but with the leather band. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, I love this watch though. It was also featured on my Instagram. I love this thing. I literally never really realized how many watches I had um, until I put them all in this box. And 
I never would have thought that I would want one of these, to be honest. I've seen one before. I've seen it. Um, I think I was looking for like acrylic jewelry boxes or acrylic jewelry storage type things um, on Amazon. And it, I did see it, but I just kind of bypassed it. And I was like, damn, I love this thing. And I was so surprised because when he gave it to me, I was like, uh, it's hella heavy and it's humongous. What is it? It was super cute. He gave me the box and then the watch was inside already, like with the rest of them. My favorite watches of the month. <laughs> um... So I have this one. I'm going to take it off so you guys can see it more in detail. This one is part of the Parker line, I believe. The white face with like the rhinestone um, hands, or not hands, but like the number line thing. And the bezel is also glitzed out. Casual, but it's pretty and I love it. And then I also bought myself a Marc Jacobs watch. Um, I purchased this at Fossil when they were having their sale. Um, I forget the model number, so I'll list all the model numbers to the watches down below. Um, except for the next one I'm going to show because I have no idea where to get this. Um, but yeah, this one, um, I think I got it during a sale. I originally wanted the black one. There's like a black kind of charcoalish looking one with the, also the same pink face, but a... Not pink face, uh, pink numbers with a black face. And I originally wanted that one, and then I saw this one and was like, <gasps> I don't have a silver one. Ooh. <laughs> um, but I tried them next to each other, fell in love with the silver one all And the this way. last watch is a mirrored watch, which I absolutely love. Hi, camera. Um, I love this, though, because... Okay, so... Ha, the man got this for me because um, I had mentioned that we can't touch our makeup up at work sometimes, um, unless we're in the back. And I kind of get annoyed with that because sometimes I forget, but, um, I don't know. When you work in makeup, okay, let's be honest. When you work in makeup, you're just super fucking vain, okay? So, like, you're always checking your face, you know what I'm saying? And, like, you can't always walk over to a mirror. There's so many, you know, clients walking around. It's just embarrassing. <laughs> um, so he got me a watch with a mirror on it. So I love this. Like, when I'm walking around, I just kind of do a quick little glance real quick. Oh, yeah, okay. And it's fine. Like, I love it. I love it. I love that there's a mirror on it. Love, love, love. And then a lot of you guys have been asking me about my vape pen. <laughs> Um, this is so, like, I don't, I don't know how to talk about this because some of y'all kind of, like, assume that it's for weed, and I'm like, ugh, seriously. I mean, there are some for that, if that's what you really want it for. I mean, generally speaking, all the batteries are pretty much the same. Um, they just have different adapters. I, I could go through a whole spiel about this and what they are and what they're about, but honestly, it's all over YouTube already. Um where you can buy them. Um, any vapor store, really. Literally, I typed in vapor on Yelp and found a whole bunch of stores in my area. Um, I mean, I, I, I heard, like, word of mouth from, like, friends of friends, and, like, my god sister goes to Tasty Vapor in Oakland all the time. So, I love Tasty Vapor for their, um, flavors. I love it. Um, so that's where I personally got my batteries. Um, the first battery she ever got me was the one I posted on Instagram with the hearts on it. It's, like, silver with hearts. Um, I love that one just because it's super cute. <laughs> um, but I was using it so much and then I was going through clear misers hella fast. Um, I don't know if I just didn't have the right one or whatever. Um, I had a basic cartomizer for a while and then I got a clear -mizer, um, so that I could actually have like one for nicotine, um, nicotine based liquids and then one without. Um, so short story, <laughs> um, you can get it with nicotine or without. Um, so the ones without are more like e-hookahs, I guess you could say, and the ones with nicotine are more like e-cigarettes. Um, again, I'm not gonna hella go through this, it's just too complicated. Um, but yes, I love my vape pen. So this is the favorite of the month, if you will. Favorite of the past two months. Um, my personal favorite battery is the one that I have now. I do love the one with the heart still, it's still my favorite, but I also purchased this one at Tasty Vapor in Oakland. Um, they just happen to have it, and they sell them for really inexpensive, and, um, the... The MAH in them is kind of low. It's about in the 400s. I personally would prefer a 1000 or 1100. Um, not that you guys know what that means anyway. But <laughs> yeah, generally, if you guys are starters, um, Tasty Vapor is a good place to start. Vapor Den in Berkeley. Um, I think there's one called, Va I think Vapor 5 in Hayward is okay too. Um, Vape Bar San Jose, uh, Vape Life in Vallejo, and then Vapor Lounge in Walnut Creek. Those are all the ones I know in the Bay Area. Sorry. Um, I don't know. I'm sure there's more, but those are the ones that I know of. But yes, love my vape pen. Um, I got my tanks at um, Vapor Lounge, and then I got my batteries um, at Tasty Vapor, just because they just happen to be there. So, love this stuff. Um, someone asked me what my favorite flavors are. Um, I really, really like Honeydew and Gummy Bear or Gummy Blood, and then Unicorn Blood, also a favorite, and anything menthol related. Because, see, okay, part of the reason... <laughs> Someone asked me, like, why I'm even into this in the first place. Like, oh, do you smoke cigarettes? Blah, blah, blah. No, I don't smoke cigarettes. I used to a long, 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 long time ago. 
long time ago I used to smoke cigarettes and now I probably only smoke them if I'm like deathly drunk which it very rarely ever happens um and when I did used to smoke I was a pretty hardcore smoker like um I loved prime times which are like little mini flavored cigars um I love sweet dreams which are also mini flavored cigars kind of like cigarettes like they're shaped like cigarettes but they're mini cigars um I used to smoke Marlboro menthol smooths camel crushes the whole shebang um, I was never a hard smoker, but I liked hard stuff to smoke. Um, so whenever I did smoke, I was like, Ugh! like <laughs> a lot of my stuff was pretty harsh. Um, I was never a Marlboro Red girl, hell no. Um, and then blend number 72s, 27s, one of those. Um, I used to like those for a while too. So I did used to smoke. I did, I did, I did. Then I realized how ugly my skin started getting. Um, I hate the way it makes my skin look. I do not like how my skin reacts to smoking. Um, my pores got bigger, my skin looked hella dead, I didn't have my glow no more, y'all know how I feel about my JLo glow, okay? I just, I just quit. I hate how it stuck in my hair, I hated the smell, I started realizing I just actually hate it. Um, so I stopped smoking for a really long time, it wasn't even hard to quit. If y'all want a whole spiel on smoking and all that whole shebang, I will do a completely whole separate video. But, now I found a way to smoke without the smell and without the harsh chemicals. <gasps> oh my god. Someone asked me what my favorite coffee was this month, and of course y'all know I love my Starbucks. I switch it up all the time, so I don't really have a favorite at Starbucks at the moment, but I do have an at-home favorite, and it's the Silk Ice Latte. Um, I do have the mocha one. I like the vanilla one better, I have to be honest. Um, I do like this one, but I feel like there's not enough chocolate in it for me. Like, there's not enough mocha. So I have cheated and put a little bit of chocolate syrup in there, but um, <laughs> it kind of defeats the purpose that it's 100 calories. Um, per serving, but I love this stuff because my mom can drink it too. Um, she actually can't really drink that much coffee anymore um, with her diet, and um, she actually can't have any dairy products. So this is perfect for her um, since it's been hot now. She's been wanting more iced coffee, so this is the best of both worlds for both me and her. So I love this stuff. It's not very expensive, and since it's a fairly new product, there's a ton of coupons on it. So as of now, it's pretty inexpensive. Um, I can find it for like less than two bucks in the drug, in, not in the drugstore, in the grocery store. <laughs> Um, and then my favorite breakfast lately, I know this is weird, maybe to some of you, um, but I haven't really gotten into juicing just yet. I have tried a few things and I was like, oh nice, um, but I'm just, I just don't have a lot of time, like I'm busy worrying about my mom's diet most of the time, so, um, I picked this up, um, I've tried this before a long, long time ago at Starbucks before, before they got their, um, organic juice line, whatever it's called. Um, I think they have a version of this one though, I forget what it's called, I think it's just called Green. But Green Machine from Naked, um, a guy I was dating a long time ago too, um, drank this before and I was like, that looks disgusting. <laughs> and I was like, green juice though? <laughs> I don't even know. But it tastes really, really good. Like, I'm not gonna fret. It tastes amazing. And then reading what's in it, I was like, wow, okay, so there's fruit and then there's a ton of like vegetables in there like good stuff for you and every time I drink this I have so much energy in the morning I do stay full I have this habit where when I work at like 11 or 12 o'clock like I forget to eat breakfast or I forget to eat something or whatever and I'm like starving Marvin when I first start my shift and I'm like oh my god this was such a bad idea again and I should have really been smart about it and drink like a smoothie or something because I can't just drink coffee and expect that to like last me throughout you know the morning <laughs> so I've been taking this along with me I just drink the allotted serving amount the eight fluid ounces which is like a cup and I just put it in you know like my little icy Starbucks cup thingy um, but just knowing what's in it I was like wow there's like broccoli spinach algae garlic what the <laughs> all kinds of stuff in here but it like literally makes you feel good like I don't know I mean, it just makes me feel better especially if I work out like if I went for a walk or a jog that morning um, and I drink this stuff it feels really good like your body just feels good. and then my last favorite of the month is my baby Kilo Say hi, Kilo Bear. Hi. Say hi. Hi, YouTube. Hi. I love how he knows where the camera is. That's what's hilarious. You know, he's such a smart dog, I swear. Hi, baby. His name is Kilo, K-I-L-O. Um, if you guys have seen my Instagram, you guys have seen videos of him already. You guys have seen pictures of him already. Yes, I still have my Rottweiler. Some of you guys were asking, where's Kehlani? Do I still have her? Yes, I do. They get along fine. Absolutely love this little guy. I picked him up when he was about 10 weeks old. Um, he is about three and a half months. He'll be four months at the end of the month, uh, end of July. Um, yes, I love this little booger. He's so cute. He's your mama. He's your kiss mama. Hi. Hi. He's so freaking cute. He's looking at himself in the mirror, like, because my mirror is right here. 
I swear, he's like a person. <laughs> he's so, so smart. I'm not even joking. Like, he's so, so smart. Like, when we're FaceTiming with my man, he, like, looks into the camera and, like, licks the iPad. It's hella funny. And he, like, watches TV with me. He's such a character. He has such a personality already. It's hilarious. Um... You guys are wondering what breed he is. I've answered this question a million times, but he's a miniature pincher. He's half miniature pincher and half terrier, um, so he's kind of a mutt. His dad is the terrier mix. They're not sure what terrier he was because he was a mutt. Um, and then his mom is the um, minpin. I, I play too much with him. He's so funny, but he has such a great personality, and I love him to death. Um, I think it's actually good that he's more of a mutt because um, his temperament is really nice. He's hella chill. Um, he's a little cray sometimes just because he's a puppy, of course. I love you. I love you. Mmm, Juju, good boy. Juju, good boy. Yeah. Puppies are hard, yo. They're just like kids. <laughs> um, so I've been having a ball of a time taking care of this little booger. Say hi, kiddo. But I wanted him because he looked like Kehlani and he was so cute. And he's a mini version of her. Yes, you are. <laughs> um... But yes, I love my little guy. He's so, so cute. He's so cute. I know I love him. Say bye. Say bye, YouTube. Say bye, YouTube. What's that? <laughs> bye.